Like I said, easy, easy blocks. And I'm not going to go down there. Or maybe I am. Maybe I am. Why did I bring the charcoal with me? Fuck. Get rid of this stone gravel. Okay, where's my lan- You know what? Take the lantern. And I will collect all of these. And there's like nothing here, so... Whatever. Let's just get out of here. But at the very least, these are easy blocks. Didn't need to mine them. So let's just take them and go. Medium fertility and low fertility soil. All right, here we go. More grains. It looks like flax and spelt. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Let's get rid of this stack here. Or wait. So we can't actually use like different uh, stones to make it. It has to be all the same stone. I'm just gonna throw these seeds away just so I can get this flax. And then we have spelt. I already have a stack of that. And there's a ruin. We're by a lake here. And where are these vegetables? And more carrots. I'm just going to ignore you. And it looks like more vegetables over here. Also carrots. You know what, there are too many carrots around here. Let's light it on fire. Yeah, die carrots. Now, I don't see any terra preta around here. And I'm only saying that because the moment I say it, I'm going to find some terra preta. Except it's not working. But, again, like I said, there's no Terra Preta around here. Ooh, parsnips. Let's take the pars- Oh, I also brought the fire clay bricks with me. Okay, great. Get some more flax. And this is spelt. Okay, we're getting lots of spelt here. I just realized I still have the lantern in my offhand. Oh yeah, I can take it off. Sure. And there's rabbits there. And more grains. More flax. Yeah, definitely need this. So by the time I get back, maybe the iron will be done. Hopefully. Oh, there's a cave in here, and there's some more grains there. Try to get this. And it just launches the seed all the way there. Nice. So I got, let's see, I got 13 flax seeds. That's flint. Here, let's go down here. And now let's go back up. That was just quartz. So there's a big lake here. Probably if we explored the caves around here, just like the last playthrough, maybe we'll find more resources. So I'm not really sure if that's how the mechanic works. And I think that's going to cave in if we touch it. So let's just uh, go through here. So 
There's a drifter. Three drift. Oh, wait. I found a resource. I need to get through these guys first. There's surface drifters, but they can damage you pretty w good. And I need my lantern. Oh, that looks like a resource I can use. That looks pretty black. You could say it's black coal. But I have to see it to confirm. Yeah, black coal. Ow. Wait, how did you hit me but I couldn't hit you? Anyway. Probably should get some of that. So, we actually found a resource in the cave. Come on. Come on. Now, I don't have a knife with me anymore. So, I can't harvest you guys. Unless I want to, like... Make some more. You know, I'm just gonna run through here. Like, let's see what's going on. Oh, this is a much more complicated cave than I thought. Very much complicated. Well, I'm just gonna run through here. Or not. Yeah, let's get out of here. And then we can access the surface through here, except we can't. Well, if I burn ladders, I can, but I can't. Where did we come from? It was through here. Yeah, so... Go through here. And this is something else. Yeah, this is more borax. It's like running through the caves like this. It's a lot faster. Than just taking our time. Could also be more dangerous. That's okay. And there's like nothing here. And I don't have... Or... Do I? I don't have the materials to like seal this off. I still need to replenish my stock of packed dirt. Unless I just don't see it here. Ow! I actually walked right into that. I'll just put torches here. Okay, so I'm thinking... Let's just sand, gravel... Yeah, let's throw this away. That way we have room for this black coal. Now, I don't know how big these deposits are. But might as well just take as much as possible while we still can. 435 so still have plenty of daylight to get back home I'm thinking I should take like two stacks with me just so we don't have to deal with like making charcoal for the time being oh and black coal is also used for uh, what's it called the explosives the mining explosives whatever they're called I still need to find sulfur, and that's also in sandstone, but I uh, can't find that. Or I can also buy that from the traders as well. I did see it at some point. And I do need to eat. Where's my meal? Oh, this right here. And I'm out. Okay. So let's just keep mining this. Okay, there's drifters over there. I just barely saw them. So I do have to be careful. Probably should have put torches further down. In fact, I should probably do that right now. Yeah, I see you creeping around.
Oh, there's two of you. Oh. Alright, fine. You know, this needs to get out of my inventory. Yeah, so this way, I have vision, like, right there. And I don't see a shadow moving around. I can actually see the drifter. So again, two stacks. And by the time we get back home, I should have the iron blooms. Realistically, I just need like one of them to make the iron pickaxe and then I can go and harvest the meteoric iron. Going into another material. This is slate. Should also check diagonals. Check the diagonals, make sure it's not moving upwards. And it's not. Okay, so it looks like this is the edge of the deposit. It looks like this deposit is moving downwards. Yeah, it is. Except there's slate there, so... And it does... the black hole deposit doesn't go into slate. Like, it looks like it's being cut off. Sixty-two, sixty-three, and let's see this, sixty-four. Hi. Bye. Yeah, we got two full stacks of black coal. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's getting dark now. Well, I'm glad I found this. So, our home is in that direction. And I probably shouldn't go this way. Is that the fire I lit over there? Well, at le very least, we don't have to worry about those evil carrots. Yeah, this is fire. And I already swept this area, so there shouldn't be any crops of value. Oh, look! It's a walnut tree. It's being burned. Oh, this is a nice fire here. You know what? Let's get these uh, logs. Oh, it's... It, this is actually a peat deposit. Oh, nice. The fire burns through an entire peat deposit and there's a drifter walking through the fire. Toasty! I want to try to get the dirt blocks here just so I can use it. But I think that's all of it. Oh, 
Okay, so let's get out of here. Now, if I head in this direction, I'll eventually get to my path. Yeah, it's like way too dark now. Now, I have to be careful that I don't run into any holes. That would suck. I'm not actually not familiar with this area. All I know is, I go this way, I'm going to run into my path. Oh! Those are carrots. Still in a very unfamiliar area. Oh, that's a hole. Let's not go down there. Oh, hey, Flax. Might as well pick this up. And we're in the sandstone area. We're in a hilly area. There we go. There's my base there. Just need to get back here. Wait, there's, there's fire clay here. So I had a fire clay deposit hidden right there. I didn't know it. Yeah, it's like right over here. Probably should mark it though. That way I have easier access to fire clay because I've been going to that deposit like way over there and I had a deposit like there. So anyway, let's head back. We should be done right now. I still have all of these torches here. You know what? I should refresh these torches. I already refreshed the torches uh, over there on my farm. But let's refresh these before they go out. I'm gonna need a lot of light here and wait until I get those lanterns okay that should be it here we go iron blooms you know what? let's put away this stuff I think I brought way too much stuff with me I need to make sure okay I'll put the fire bricks here and let's see store all of the grains in here That's it. And seeds go in here. I only got one parsnip seed, so I didn't like that. Anyway, let's go mine this out. We also have another bloomery ready to go for the meteoric iron. And this is 798. Can I still work this? Check this out. Yeah, still workable. Now this is much easier with the Helve Hammer. Also less resource intensive because it's not wearing out the durability of the hammer. Move this over here. Move this down. Let's 
738. 737. Okay, we're done. Like, this needs to be warmed up again. But we do have one iron ingot now. Where, wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Like, I was looking for a glowing thing, but couldn't really do that, could I? You know what, let's... I guess we can work another one. And we're gonna have to put all of this stuff in here. And you know what, might as well just cook something else. Okay, we need vegetables now. Alright, so let's make onions. Or you know what? Let's try out lettuce. It's gonna have to be lettuce and onions since I didn't really grow lettuce. Cabbage stew and cabbage onion stew. Perfect. Okay, where's the peat? Okay, did I really use up all of my peat? Because I don't really want to use the firewood. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Like, I'll worry about the peat later. We have more important things to worry about. Then we'll put that there. We have plenty of black coal, so I'll just use this. Oh, where did I go? Oh, I'm going this way. I know where I'm going. Don't worry. I really don't want to be working on too many iron blooms because that's a lot of durability on the hammer. I don't want to be using. Still halfway there. In the meantime, you know what? Let's go make some paths. I'm gonna continue the path in this direction. And eventually I'm gonna be making like a tunnel in here. Or through here. Just gotta see how far this goes. So it's probably better to make this the new level. Yeah, we'll do that. We do need more dirt anyway, so we'll clear this out. And I need food. Okay, so never mind. Let's go eat. Yep, yeah, it's ready. And this gives us 1,200 sat. Yeah, this is actually really good. Okay, so let's work on this. We're going to make iron pickaxe head. And then once I get this up and running, I'll be able to take the meteoric iron. And then from there, I'll be able to get a lot more resources from the quarry much faster. And we'll 
we'll cut these. And this is pretty much why I saved the black bronze pickaxe. Just so I don't have to worry about not being able to get iron as soon as I find it. But here we go. That was the only purpose of this black bronze iron pickaxe. Now we can just store it on here and probably never use it ever again. And since we're doing this, might as well get another tool. Need a shovel. And we can still use the other tools, but we especially need a shovel. And each of these blooms is like very different. So that's why it's important to get that health hammer going if you want to do this. And we'll also push this this way. Okay, we have a drifter nearby. Where are you? You're over here. Close to my farm. Two of you. Ow. Oh, three of you. Okay, let's keep this going. Now I really need to get that workshop up and running so that I can actually work in safety. I hear another drifter. Okay, this will be the shovel for you. This up here. Then once I have that, we'll be able to dig and make the pathing much faster. There we go. And then we can actually put these shovels away. Leave it here just in case. Oh, hi, Drifter. Get out of my house! Come on. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of all of this stuff now. We have lots of stones, and... You know what? I'm gonna use one of these for pack dirt, because I do need it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So let's get rid of the stones here. And then I'll head out. You know what? I should also make some knives. <laughs> 